What is up though? Uh, video here, I guess about the PlayStation showcase, partly just a couple of games I want to talk about. Cause I was watching it on stream, got excited about a couple of games. And I was like, Oh damn, dude, these are awesome. Kind of want to share it. So, um, that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, it's just a couple of games. If you want to see the entire video, the entire showcase, I'll just leave it in the link down below so you can see it for yourself and see if I messed up or like, uh, you found games cooler than I did. And I'm like, Hey dude, what about this, man? Just let me know. Just let me know, dude. First of all, though, they start off the showcase pretty fun with a nice intro, but after that, oh, it's magic, man. It's such a short video. It's just like a teaser of Star Wars The Knights of the Old Republic. And it's 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 short, but it's awesome. And I like when you hear the voice, peace is a lie. That's what the Sith believes, if I say that correctly. But um, yeah, I just like it. And then the, the lightsaber just igniting, popping red, going to the face and like seeing Darth Revan there. I'm like, oh my God, this is awesome, man. How can this not be awesome? And I never really played through the entire game because I had a messed up copy of it, which froze on me every time. So I'm, it's going to be a new experience. I kind of really want to play it. But um, it says like at the end, it's a legend remade for PlayStation 5. So no PlayStation 4. Uh, version for it and um it will be on pc but for xbox it's gonna be as far as i know time exclusive so gotta wait a couple of months maybe a year to play it but um until that time probably have enough games because there's no release date for this game yet Ooh, and then after star wars now i was like okay let's see what they have let's see what they have though and then ellen wake came man oh my god I knew the game was coming, but I didn't expect like Sony to show anything from the remake. Um, but they did, man. And it's, it looks really great though. Like it's one of my favorite games. Like I started playing it and I, like, I was just like, oh my God, this is amazing, man. It's like the story, the setting, the mystery in the game, the vibe. It's really nice. It's creepy. It's eerie. You actually see the gameplay of the game. It's wow. It's amazing, man. Bright Falls looks really good. Um, as I said, I didn't expect them to show this and I can't wait. And I'm actually happy for PlayStation owners that never played this game because it was an Xbox exclusive. And after a couple of years, it went to PC, but it has never been on PlayStation. So it's 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 amazing. Pick it up. It's going to be released on October 5th and it's going to be $29.99. So 30 bucks for an amazing game. You know, why not? I guess, right? But, um, there's one thing I do wonder though, if they'll if they'll remaster Alan Wake and Mega Nightmare, but maybe though, maybe. All right? Next game though. Didn't expect this one. I I don't think I've even heard rumors of this game, but um I just saw the Insomniac logo pop up, the Marvel logo pop up. I was like, mm, music is nice though, but I know these guys made Spider-Man, but this is not Spider-Man, right? And then as soon as seeing the bar messed up and then dude sitting at the bar, hairy arms, drinking whiskey. I was like, ah, Wolverine. And I'm happy I was right because Wolverine is awesome. Like you Jackman played him for nine movies, if not more. But yeah, it's like a short teaser again. Uh, five was really nice. And uh, I just like the end. Just sitting there, just one more guy coming up to him like, yeah, you know, he probably messed up the entire bar and he's like, ah, I got this man. Eddie man team claws coming out and hates the black. <laughs> really awesome. Really awesome. But uh, as I said, though, like Insomnia games got high expectations. Um, all we got was like an in development for PlayStation 5 on the end screen. So it's going to be like pro. So it's probably going to be far out, at least like, I uh, wouldn't be surprised 2023, 2024 window somewhere there. So just keep your eyes open for that one. So on to the next game, which I just, like, it just starts off with a street corner and a light post and then some, like a jolt of electricity shooting towards it. And, and I was like, ah, oh, dude, I heard it. It's going to be the new infamous game. And I was wrong. It's not, it's totally not. And I'm just like 
didn't expect it but i'm so excited it's spider-man 2 and oh my god dude this is a game you want to play on release date because it's it's like the first two games were really awesome like the first one awesome then miles morales added his own vibe flavor to it and now they're together in spider-man 2 and oh my god it's gonna it's gonna be good though but um i was kind of curious though because um I was expecting to see somebody in the trailer, which I didn't see because of the voice. It's it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a male voice with um, with a Russian accent to it, and it just makes me think of Craven the Hunter. But uh, we didn't see him though. We get some new enemies. We get some like nice tag teaming of the two Spideys, and I hope like there's variations to that, so you can like do cool like aerial stuff and like hit enemies and then like i don't know man crazy crazy stuff so i'm, I'm kind of excited to like uh see what's like what's up with that so um yeah but we did get somebody else at the end they stop and then they look up into a dark alleyway and they see venom standing there i was like oh my god venom is a good one venom is a good feeling for both of them so that's gonna be good but um I got some questions though because like where will the story go it's a continuation of the first one and the miles morales one um will craven be the game and if so is he going to be the big bad guy um will venom turn like good uh can you play as venom eventually <laughs> that would be awesome though um we're gonna see carnage is this co-op are you able to switch between two spideys at random at will like so many questions man but uh I guess we'll have to wait because the release date is set for 2023. Um, that's also why I think like Wolverine is probably going to come out around that time or a year after that. But um, it's still far away. But like, I ah, can't wait to play this. I can't wait to play this because it's going to be a big one though. All right. Last game. And I actually thought they were going to show um, more of Horizon Zero Dawn. We got God of War though. God of War is finally back. We know it was back though, but we haven't seen anything so far. Um, so I'm really excited for this because I like just like Alan Wake and, and Spider-Man. Um, God of War, one of my favorites. It just is such an amazing story, such an amazing world to be in, uh, especially to be in that world as Kratos, not from that world, from that mythos. Um, really, really awesome. And yeah, we're finally back. Pimple winter has begun and uh, time is running out, right? <laughs> and I like that we see a lot of familiar faces as Freya's back and C looks really pissed off. She's not happy at all, which is kind of understandable what happened at the end of the first game. So yeah, um, I really, really wonder like how this will work out and how the story arc will continue, uh, at least with these two characters. And yeah, um, also back Mimir. Oh yeah, one of the best characters in the game, if you ask me though. Like still being the, the wise and witty guy to Kratos and Atreus. An amazing addition. An amazing addition to have, to still have in the game. So yeah. Uh, also get like an overview of a place which seems like Midgard and it looks really amazing. I just like, it's 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 again really beautiful, uh, a well crafted world again. And um it, it's just fun to see Kratos in that world because he sticks out. It's you just see it's not his world though, but that makes it so good and uh, yeah, I really like it though. Also, like one thing we also like we see uh, the three of them sail through a small town with people walking about, and I like as far as I can remember that that didn't really happen in the first one, right? Like there were no like real like world NPCs, I guess, in 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 the overworld or whatsoever. So that's kind of nice. And then also Brock and Sindri are back, like still grumpy as ever. So awesome. And then like a new character, it's it's, it's a quick quick peek at a character sitting behind a desk with uh i think like octopus creature crawling onto his arm though and this is all we see so i'm kind of curious as to who he is what his role in the game will be and in like the entire world will be um and then the scene from the end of god of war one comes back i think that's the exact scene though like you see mjolnir you see uh like uh, the myth or so of thor um nothing really much so you like you see some new stuff and um kind of wonder though 
when you fight him how powerful will he be he's the actual god of thunder and everything so uh awesome and like one of the characters that you also see which i'm i was pretty excited about because you you hear about him a lot in the first game but you don't see him at all it's Thir. there is like they found him and god damn he is huge and still has both of his hands so um kind of wonder how like the storyline arc is gonna like develop because if i'm correct like in the mythology he like loki has three kids well more than three though but like at least three at somewhat the same time and i think that's like jormungunder um hell and fenrir and i don't wonder though because jormungunder is there and I kind of wonder how that will play out but yeah like we see, we see kratos standing in front of Thir, Thir sitting down and then standing up and you see how insanely big he is uh for being i think he's a half half jotun so but that's that's pretty awesome though to see that and then we see the title screen which is god of war ragnarok uh, amazing i like it end times let's go and after that we get like one more scene which is a girl it's angerboda i don't know if i pronounced it correctly i'm sorry though no. <laughs> but um um she is a giant and she is i i think she's the wife of loki in mythology and the mother of monsters if i say correctly though so um i'm kind of curious how they will implement that storyline into the game and like with atreus and loki and anger and then like after the showcase they um they talked a little bit more about the games and like one thing that stuck out to me was um this is like where the norse mythos uh caps off so this is this is the last game taking place there um but i kind of cannot imagine them not taking it to other mythologies as well because this works really well and it it just like games are well received and they've a lot to pick from still so yeah i'm kind of wondering what the future brings for this game let's just wait for this one first because I i'm pretty sure there's going to be another masterpiece and we just have to wait because there's no specific release date yet but yeah those are the games that made this showcase a win for me uh there were some other games that were fun to see and are definitely on my eventually want to playlist but uh but yeah this is my launch day need to playlist these five games are going to be amazing i'm i'm like 100 sure of it yeah i hope you guys got happy with seeing these games as well as happy as i was <laughs> but uh kind of the only thing i want to know like what is your launch day game that you want to play or like what are these other games that they've shown in the in the showcase that you are like i want to play this leave it in the comment down below and uh thanks for watching though see you in the next video bye bye guys